Southwest Research has been developing uh, robots to do maintenance on aircraft for the last 25 years. Specifically, the systems that we've designed is typically for fighter aircraft, F-16 and F-15, and they remove the paint off the aircraft so that they can do maintenance and repair before the aircraft go back out into service. The Air Force came to the Institute looking for an alternative to using hazardous chemicals to strip paint from its aircraft. Our engineers identified a plastic media blasting technique and developed large robot systems to perform the process. These robots are about two stories tall. They reach out well past the center line of the aircraft and they trundle on tracks over the length of the aircraft. This ha the robot has a partner. There's one on either side of the aircraft to be able to strip the entire aircraft. They work in tandem. These robots are some of the largest freestanding robots in the world. These systems are installed at air maintenance facilities across the country to strip coatings from a variety of fighter aircraft. A natural progression would be to scale up this process to strip paint from larger airframes. As we've envisioned scaling up our robotics program to larger applications like cargo aircraft and commercial aircraft, we've uh, encountered a cost barrier. Basically, if you scale up our existing robots to be even larger, and, and then using more of them to reach these larger airframes, uh, it would be a cost prohibitive endeavor. So to make it um, more cost efficient, we have envisioned using mobile robotic platforms. Sounds simple enough? But actually, unfixed robots set to work safely in a large workspace are just now reaching maturity. Southwest Research is integrating the new technologies to make large-scale ro mobile robots possible. We at Southwest are bringing together the IGPS type systems and omnidirectional vehicles with robotic systems to make a complete package that makes it safe to work around large scale aircraft to strip paint and do other maintenance type techniques. The Institute invested internal funds to advance and demonstrate Mr. Rome, an integrated mobile manipulation platform. Mr. Rome stands for the metrology referenced roving accurate manipulator. So to demonstrate the capability of Mr. Rome, we showed Mr. Rome following a complex path plan on a surrogate aerospace part. It was an aircraft wing. There are these white dots that show where the robot is supposed to go, and they also indicate by their size the amount of error that was allowed to prove its accuracy. So we showed that the robot could follow that path, regardless of whether the wing it was tilted back and, and higher up, um, close to the top of the robot's reach, or whether it was tilted down and, and toward the bottom of the robot's reach. Mr. Rome demonstrates a cost-effective solution to large airframe depaint and maintenance and shows promise for other mobile robotic applications.